Welcome to Around the World Channel. K.J. Costello throws for SEC record 623 yards as Mississippi State Bulldogs upset LSU Tigers, ESPN. Mike Leach's air raid offense didn't disappoint in its SEC debut on Saturday as Mississippi State upset defending champion LSU, 44-34, and quarterback K.J. Full transcript, read Judge Amy Coney Barrett's remarks, The New York Times. Particularly poignant to me was her long and deep friendship with Justice Antonin Scalia, my own mentor. Justices Scalia and Ginsburg disagreed fiercely in print without rancor in person. Prince William, Duchess Kate share new photos of their family with Sir David Attenborough, USA Today. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan drew criticism, including from President Trump, for a video urging Americans to vote. Shooting at large biker gathering in Waterloo, Iowa, leaves one dead, several wounded, NBC News. An Iowa gathering of over 100 people from motorcycle clubs turned deadly early Saturday morning with a shooting that killed at least one person and left several others wounded. Oklahoma vs. Kansas State score. Wildcats upset number three Sooners for second straight season with wild comeback, CBSSports.com. Number 3 Oklahoma entered Big 12 conference play against Kansas State with hopes of reaching the Big 12 championship game and college football playoff. Netflix criticized for Game of Thrones showrunner's new sci-fi series, Entertainment Weekly. Netflix has come under fire from Republican lawmakers for greenlighting an adaptation of Chinese author Lu Sixon's The Three Body Problem trilogy. Joe Biden insists Donald Trump is, not that smart, ahead of Tuesday's first debate, Daily Mail. Joe Biden hit out at President Donald Trump on Friday night calling him a, liar, and claiming he's, not that smart, just days before the first presidential debate. Australia begins disposal of over 350 dead whales after ending rescue mission, CBS News. Australian wildlife officials began disposing of hundreds of dead whales on Saturday following one of the largest ever mass stranding events globally. New York reports 1,000 daily new COVID-19 cases for first time since June. The Hill, The Hill. More than 1,000 people tested positive for the coronavirus in New York on Friday. Marking the first time since early June the state has seen a daily number of cases rise above that mark. Gov. Everybody vs. the App Store. Why companies are taking issue with Apple's growing revenue engine, Fox Business. A host of companies, including Facebook Inc., Spotify Technology SA and Fortnite maker Epic Games Inc., are challenging the way Apple Inc. AAPL 3.75% runs its app store. Please, like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay tuned for upcoming news.